Hey Legions, the end of year is here and we've got one last update for the Legion Go. Well, no official roadmap update today. However, you may have missed the driver update, which seems to have fixed the FPS for me in the official overlay. To get this, go to the online support option from the quick menu and hit the PC option that comes up on the browser and hit detect product. If you haven't installed the Lenovo service bridge, then do install that. It makes life a lot easier of checking for updates. And then you'll get taken to the product homepage, hit the drivers and software on the left hand menu, go to manual update, and then graphics processing unit section. You'll see that this has got a release date of the 25th of December. And this brings the official implementation for integer scaling. So no need to tweak the BIOS anymore. To implement that, go into the AMD software gaming section display. And you need to turn on GPU scaling, and then you get the integer scaling option. Note that this doesn't work with the Radeon super scaling, so you will have to use this individually. And you know this works because when you turn it on, if you're in 1900 by 1200 mode, you'll get like a window in the middle of the screen because it doesn't integer scale correctly. It only works with 800p or 1600. Obviously, it won't be integer scaling at 1600p, so really only useful at 800p. But in our performance tests, We've really not noticed any difference or any difference in the picture quality using integer scaling. But what we have noticed that's made quite a difference is actually the Radeon image sharpening. Now we have a whole dedicated video to that, but I'm going to show you quickly what that is and how to turn it on in this video as well. So the Radeon image sharpening is under the graphics option and you don't really need Radeon boost or super resolution for this. So we'll just turn the boost off. And if you scroll down, you'll see Radeon image sharpening, otherwise referred to as RIS or RIS. And in Tales of Arise, because I run this at less than 1600p, that Radeon image sharpening really comes into its own. Now, it's really not going to come across too well in this video because it's not right in front of you. And you can kind of see the difference between the two. And I'll put a side by side comparison in a second. You have to restart the game to enable or disable Radeon image sharpening. So if you are going to toggle it with the overlay, it will give you a warning some of the times, but not all of the time. So if you're not noticing that difference, make sure you restart the game in between. And this makes a massive difference to the clarity on the screen, especially at 800p. So do check it out. I'll put a link to our dedicated video in the description below as well. Now, in case you missed it, Legion Space did get the 1.025 update over a week ago, which fixed the 30 watt custom wattage mode, as you saw there, and also brought in the fix for lighting effects on the joysticks, as well as the joystick dead zone and sensitivity changes, and swapping the start and select buttons, which moves the Legion Space and quick menu options to the bottom left and puts the start and select as in their natural places. Now do bear in mind as it does show you quite promptly there. And just as a reminder, Legion shortcut button will remain the top left Legion button and then the standard shortcut. So that doesn't change for the function shortcuts, even if you swap those buttons over. Now Legion space in general, does anybody actually use this apart from coming in to the settings to adjust things like the controller sensitivity and stuff? Or do you actually use some of the other menus here? Let us know in the comments below because I don't use it for anything else. I'll treat you to a bit of Tales of Arise while we close out here. This is actually running at 1200p on the medium to high graphic settings and sitting at around 40 to 50 frames a second quite happily. And as you'll notice, the latest graphics drivers does seem to have fixed the FPS overlay in any of the full screen or borderless full screen games. This does now seem to be working. There seems to be a bit of a lag in the startup for this as it does take about 30 seconds to a minute to stabilize, but it does seem to be working now. Let us know how you're getting on with your Legion Go and what you're looking forward to the new year. I feel like 2024 is going to be a massive year for handheld gaming. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.